Hello world, today we're talking, today we're working on a 2002 Hyundai Elantra. This is a 2 liter, this is going to apply from 2002 to 2006. And just remember, disconnect that battery, at least the negative battery terminal. I typically tend to disconnect both. Now let's start off by moving this out of the way. I don't know what I would call that, the little cap for the reservoir for the uh, coolant. Now first you have these 10 millimeter bolts that hold the radiator fan assembly. It's only two. And then we're gonna disconnect the electric connector. That slides right up, nice and easy. Now here is the alternator. Sorry for the slightly poor lighting. So what I'm loosening right now with the 12 millimeter is the manual tensioner for the alternator. So that's going to be again 12 millimeter. Actually no, let's take it. That one's a 10. Well, one or the other. The 10 or 12, it can change if somebody decides to put a different one. Now here is the connector. It's a little bit of a pain, but once you find the little clip, it's facing forward. So once you're able to press that on, you should be able to jiggle it and get that connector off. See, right in the front, that little tab. Try not to be too forceful or else you can break it. And nobody wants that. Now I have to remove the cover for the positive cable. So let's pop that cover off. And I'll be able to loosen its a uh, 12 millimeter nut. I would be careful. Sometimes the remanufactured ones uh, get changed, and we go from being a 12 millimeter to a 13, and it gets a little confusing. That one was a little tight in there. Once I break that loose, continue with the cordless. Swivel, pocket attached, and easy peasy comes out. I would say the hardest, even though this job isn't super difficult, the hardest part would be the rear nut. Uh, you know, down in, in the back of the alternator, which I will show you briefly. So it can either be a 12, well, it should be a 12, it should be a 12. Although, like I said, if somebody decides to put something different, expect it to be anywhere from a 12 to 13 to 14. See, all that was was a little washer and a nut. Now you don't have to worry about taking that, I call it carrier bolt. Uh, but the big long bolt that's in the back, you don't have to worry about taking it out and you'll see why. You can simply wiggle the alternator loose. Now if there was an alternator, well, actually there is an alternator belt, but if you see that once you get, the <laughs> I'm doing a bad job today, sorry. All right, so once you loosen the tension on the alternator and you push it backwards, you know, obviously you can wiggle it off but you would be pushing it backwards and getting the belt off. Don't ask about the belt, that's a different story. At least pertaining to this vehicle. Actually, no, I could share it with you guys. So the, <laughs> the belt on this vehicle was, you know, almost tearing off. All right, so see that bolt right there? 
it d does tend to get stuck so you want to give it a smack and be careful not to hit the bolt without the nut because you potentially could damage the first thread see i'm already i shouldn't have done that i should have done that with the wood inside but anyways so see that bolt you don't have to worry about taking it out uh and once you take it off you'll see what you'll see what i mean so that can stay on and then you can wiggle the alternator out it can be troublesome but for the most part it just slides out so see i'm going to put this back in there remove this guy so i can put the cable back on and now we're going to jump over here we're going to play the wiggle game because we like to wiggle jiggle always the case with most alternators unless it's a Ford or that's the only thing I could think of the top of my head where usually it's on top and you don't have to play the jiggle game <sighs> you gotta love them Fords but anyways back to this car once we get through this all right so it's going on there we gotta move that little tensioner bracket. Actually, no, the tensioner bracket stays stationary. And I wish I could give you guys a better angle, but the bolt is gonna sit on the bracket. It's an open, it's an open bracket style. And as you saw, I brought in back the manual tensioner. I'm putting the bolt that essentially holds the manual tensioner to the alternator. And it you know, goes in between the bracket. So we're going to put that back on there. And then we're going to start adding tension. Now in this, on this vehicle, you obviously you won't see me doing anything with the belt. Because at this time we don't have one. But let's say we did have one, we'd be putting it on and making sure it's nice and tight and adjusting this. So let's just pretend there's a belt there and this is just pretty much the same process. Uh, so that is on there. Now you're gonna want it to sit properly in there if you don't watch it it'll slip so just keep an eye out there i'm gonna go ahead and try to tighten the rear nut so at least get this sitting in there and then i will do it by hand now i get to install this guy and like i said this job is relatively simple I do recommend having a swivel. So if you have swivel sockets or swivel extension, that is super helpful. Whoops. I'm dropping stuff over here now. Now we're gonna double check by hand. Get that nice snug on there install the connector make sure everything's fine at now at this point we would have everything tidied up the belt super tight or sorry at least adjusted but anyways thanks for watching guys